Video intros, they absolutely kill audience retention, especially in the first minute. So I'm not gonna use them anymore. Let me prove it to you and tell you what you should do instead. I've gotta be honest, I haven't been a huge fan of YouTube intros for quite a while now. Far too many creators use them and they're far too similar. I mean, just imagine for one second if YouTube introduced this TV streaming feature. After you'd seen one video from that creator, you would click that button every single time unless the intro was intentionally different every single time and how often does that happen and then there's this have a guess what type of channel this video intro comes from we'll come back to that later i myself am not immune to the video intro curse we used one for years here on the vidiq channel before i binned it off because i thought it was too long even at four seconds in length but recently and i don't know if you've noticed this but vidiq has recently gone through a rebranding exercise and as part of it, we got this cool, what you call in the business, little stinger ident. And I thought at two seconds long, it would be perfect to reintroduce to the channel, but apparently not. Let me show you what I mean. This is the audience retention on one of our recent videos and watch at the moment, the branded intro kicks in on the video. That is a noticeable steeper drop in audience retention, losing about 4% of the audience in about four seconds. All right, fair enough. This needs verifying through a second video. And here we go again. The branded intro kicks in and this time we lose 5% of the audience in two seconds. Now, this is a concerning coincidence. And then we have this bad boy. Now then, what's this? Ooh, ooh, hello. Come to Papa. What? That is pretty incredible, isn't it? An audience retention drop of 12% in two seconds or 24% in six seconds. I'm not naive enough to say that the branded intro was solely responsible for that drop, but it probably played a pretty significant role. But before we look into that, Tulia asks, do copyright claims on YouTube shorts affect your channel? And the answer is they don't affect your channel, but it may impact the possible distribution of a video and copyright claims content will not count towards any shorts bonus payments. Now back to those video intros. Are we saying that even an intro of just two seconds is too long. Well, it's probably not so much the length of a video intro, although anything more than five seconds is too long. It's the very fact that an intro exists at all. It's what's called a pattern interrupt, which is usually a good thing because it resets the viewer's attention. On the other hand, a video intro resets the viewer's decision-making, leaving them to ask the question while that intro is running, do I really wanna watch this? Nah. On the other hand, without a video intro, there is no hard stop. And that allows the viewer over a longer period of time to come to a natural conclusion about whether or not they're in the right video. And that allows your video hook to do more work. A video hook is designed to start delivering on the promises made in the title and the thumbnail immediately and show the viewer the direction of a video going forward. We go into a lot more detail about this hook through the video linked on screen now. But in summary, watch the first 15 seconds of this video again. That's your video hook. And if you're still watching this video three minutes in, that hook works. On the other hand, a video intro serves nothing more than a little bit of brand identity which we've kind of got all over the place anyway. All of which brings us back to this intro. Any idea what type of channel this is? I guarantee you, whatever answer you gave me, it's wrong. It's for a sewing machine repair channel. Let me just repeat that. This video intro is for a sewing repair machine channel. I mean, how on earth is a viewer supposed to know if they're in the right place at the very beginning of a video? I've said this before, but I haven't said it for a while. Time is the most valuable currency on YouTube. I mean, you as a creator really value your time, don't you? Because you wanna get as much done as possible. So don't waste that time with video intros that just waste viewers time. And if you disagree with me on the idea of video intros, that's absolutely fine. I'd love you to share your success stories of implementing video intros into your content. On the other hand, video outros are an incredibly valuable use of everybody's time. But in order to prove that to you, you're gonna have to click over here. You see what I did there? 